Hey, welcome to a review of my KJ Works M9 IA Elite. So, once you get this is the box. It's trajectory adjustable, which is you can set the hop up and middle slide. Alright, once you open the box, you'll see the manual. And somehow I got the M92. Hmm, I wonder. But I have this gun for like a year already. Ah, uh, dust. Anyways, um, you'll see the gun, a box full of BBs, and the speed loader, and an Allen key, which you can adjust the hop up with. And I'll show you that later. So, once you get the gun, uh, alright, once you get the gun, the mag will be inside the gun, should be inside the gun. So, the mag holds 26. But it really pushes the spring to its limit. I wouldn't recommend you do it. pushing the la the 26 BB in. And to insert the uh, green gas or propane, it's you press it in here. And to release the gas, just press this button, and the gas should come out on the top. Uh, I would recommend you buying a second mag. So in which case you run out pretty quickly. Set this aside. Um, for a speed loader, you'll get a rod and a steel tube. And this funny looking plastic cap. So all you have to do is push the steel tube into the hole. Uh, yeah. Alright, once you've done that, get your mag. Make sure you have your, like, make sure you you are holding the spring down because you can't really lock up the spring for this for this mag. Just put on the cap and then insert the BBs in the metal tube. Once you take out the metal, I mean the rod, like this, insert there, put the rod back in, and push it, the BBs into the mag. And that's all for the speed loader. Just. Trying to put this back together. Alright. Speed loader, mags. Um. F okay. F uh, gun. For about the gun. Uh, the metal parts are the slide, outer barrel, inner barrel, the hammer, the safety, slide release, trigger, and some, and the inter the internal parts. Uh, the plastic parts are the lower receiver, which is the tinted model. The grip, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, to, uh, or if you want a field strip or change the hop up, it's you have to do the same thing. All right. On this side of the gun, there will be a button. Press it, and the tab will push out a little forward. Once it's out, push the lever down, and you'll see the slide move front a bit. Oh, and make sure you have no magazines in before you do this. So just slide the slide out, and set aside the lower receiver. You'll see the whole slide with the recoil spring on the barrel. To adjust the hop up, you take your Allen key. And there's a hole right here. Uh, turn it clockwise will bring up the hop up, and turn it counterclockwise will decrease the hop up. And to field strip, you push the both the recoil spring and the barrel forward. And well, it'll take you quite some time to get used to this. Don't get mad if you can't do it the first try. I didn't. Uh, so you take out both and then to put it back together you do the same process but in reverse so slide this twist and you're done and then just slide it back onto your lower receiver pull all the way back I well I tend to lock it up then push the lever back up you can either push the lever slide release down or pull the slide back a bit 
and this should slide back in position. Alright, even though the hammer is cocked and your safety is on, it will not decock it. That's the bad part about this gun. But other than that, it shoots great and great accuracy. Uh, shoots about 350 FPS for mine. Don't know about yours. Um, great accuracy. Iron Sight is actually plain black, but I painted it white two, three white dots to help me. Uh, that's about it. So if you got any questions, leave a comment in this section below. And yeah, I'll make a few reviews later, like that my HK416. Uh, stay tuned.